podcast belongs to J&J's Review Realm now. That's right. That's right. And if you don't understand that reference, you obviously didn't hear Psycho off of the album we're about to talk about. This is new album from Muse. This is Drones. And it's fucking fantastic. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right out the gate here and say this is the best album this band has put out ever. Really? I really, really believe that's that. A, that's and actually a steep thing, because Muse has put out a few albums. You know, and I, I, this is coming from a, uh, a guy who loves Absolution, who loves Black Holes and Revelations, uh, and even their first album, their first two albums before that, uh, before those. You know, Drones is just phenomenal. It's really I thought every every single song on this album caught my ear. Yeah, they were all the musicianship is fantastic, dude. It's like this is really funny. I was actually cleaning the house today while I was while I was listening to this, and I actually I couldn't do anything like while the, I'd say the first like five or six tracks were on. <laughs> like I literally like I couldn't like I was just so like caught in. Yeah, caught like in it. both lyrically the vocals are awesome, and and I'll you know this was definitely a point I want to make about Muse is. Muse is a band that's, you know, been around for a while, and they've put out, you know, a number of albums, and they've been featured on the radio, um, quite a bit. Oh, yeah. Um, while I was listening to it, I couldn't kind of help but notice the listenability, like, how catchy it was, and, like, how easy it was to listen to. I haven't listened, I've listened to stuff that was, like, on the radio by Muse, all the stuff from Black Holes and Revelations, all that mm -hmm. stuff. I've heard that, and all that stuff was, like, it wasn't, it didn't really showcase the band that they are so like i think if you just listen to muse on the radio you don't really getting the whole picture of like what muse actually is muse is a very artistic like kind of band they're not and they're very different all the tracks on their albums are, are like very different and i i didn't really pick up on that until i listened to this album this album actually presents like a number of issues that are pretty you know like it's a very po very political album yeah it's a very it's political a album it's very thought-provoking you know the whole kind of like overtone of it is is that government how government makes you like kind of a drone like it, it you know they how we're so easily controlled by things and, and you know if you just listen to like one i mean i'm sure there's going to be a, a song or two that makes it on the radio off this album and mm -hmm. if you just listen to that you might not even get the whole picture of what they're trying to do but i couldn't anyways um i couldn't help but notice that it the, the how easy it was to listen to and it kind of reminded me almost of tool in a way um, i can understand that yeah because yeah. tool Tool is is a very artistic band like this, um, very technical, you know, like with you know temples and stuff like that. But all their songs are, in a very artistic way, explain like different subjects, and they the instruments and instrumentals are used to kind of tell a story. And I think Muse is the closest thing that's been on the radio to that. I don't know. They just reminded me very much so of Tool in that regard. Honestly, this band. Um their past two albums, which is The Resistance and then um, uh, The Second Law, those albums went toward, more towards the electronic side. Yeah. And, you know, those, I don't, I think they're, they're listenable, but they're not my favorite. Yeah. You know, they have some some songs on there that are, are right in the middle of okay, but I like, for lack of a better word, I like heavier muse, you know? Yeah. And the last time they put out, you know, an album, you know, that was heavier was Black Holes and Revelations, and that's, you know, that's known for Knights of Sidonia, Supermassive Black Hole, and uh, Assassin, and that's not a very well-known song, but that's one of my favorites. Yeah. And that was the last time they sounded that way. So, leading up to this album, when I first heard Psycho, yeah. I immediately got excited for this. I said, this is the muse that I really, really enjoy. Right. You know, such a... Psycho is such a simple riff, but it's so catchy, you know, and it just, it draws you right in. You know, I think the lyricism is not, for Psycho anyway, for the lyricism is not, you know, like, top notch. I mean, like, saying, like, your ass belongs to me now, yeah. and, you know, some... But it doesn't, but I don't know, like, I, cause I was thinking about that, mm -hmm. and I remember, I remember how excited you got over that track, and I was like, if, I was wondering if the whole album was going to sound like that. Yeah. And pleasantly surprised that it was it does that in some spots but they're actually kind of heavy yeah like, there was like one I track love, that's why i love it there so was much. one yeah there was one track that like at the end of the previous track they you can hear them just like it goes into feedback mm -hmm. and you could totally hear them just crank the gain up mm -hmm. and then it goes into the next track and i remember like i was just like stuff it's little things like that mm -hmm. that make this album like exceptional mm -hmm. this is an exceptional album it's not like 
It's not. It's a deviation kind of away from like things that we normally review on the channel. But like, we try to listen to as many different things as possible. Every single song, you know, drew me in. Uh, you know, with the way it sounded and everything. When I heard Dead Inside the first time, you know, I, I first first Psycho came out. That's the first track, right? Dead Inside's the first song. Yeah, I wasn't. That was actually my probably my least favorite. I like I heard Psycho and I said, oh good. I said they're going for heavier sound. Right. And then they put out Dead Inside and I said, whoa. I said, wait a minute. Yeah, you're I a said, nervous. Is, I said this is going. I mean, I like the song. <laughs> yeah. You know, don't get me wrong, but I said this is going back to more electronic side. Yeah. I'd say, but I mean, it is the first song on the album, so I think. Maybe it, it wasn't the idea, maybe for them, but to me, I thought, okay, let's get the electronic song, yeah. you know, out of the way, and not not necessarily out of the way, but I mean, you know, let's start it off with that because since we want to incorporate that, a number of and bands then just let the rest of the album, you know, just be heavy. You know, so I think it seems to me like this is just an album where this band really nailed down their sound. They really like, dude. They cranked this album out, and it was just. This is like all oh, will always stay in my head now as like what Muse is. Mm -hmm. like, Good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, and and you know what? Like, hopefully for me, this is a breath of fresh air for like the new year of albums that we're gonna have out. Mm -hmm. This is a great way to like kind of start. Like kick off the summer. Sort yeah, of. exactly. This is like a good album to kick off the summer. I've had a hard time choosing between whether I like the first half of the album or the second half of the album. I think the first half. I, I might go towards the first half. The second half, I, li I like the way it ends. It ends kind of odd. Yeah. Uh, with the go with the globalist and then the title track. Yep. But I really really enjoyed the ending. But I would have to say that the first half is uh, almost definitely different. more even more better than the uh, the second. I don't know. I can't. Ex I really, in like some aspects, I can't explain like why I like this album so much. It's just like overall, and it, it like individually, it's just so like cohesive. Mm -hmm. And I think every band has an album like that. I think so. And hopefully, we'll be seeing. Like honestly, I wouldn't mind seeing them live. Like after hearing no, that, I've never seen them live. I would before. love to see them live. I hope they you tour. Know, uh, I want to see them on this album. So yeah, I, I would love to see. Know. Yeah, it kind of opened up my eyes a little. Yeah. We always listen to bands that like I hadn't like maybe wasn't as familiar with as I should have been, or like bands that caught me off guard. Mm -hmm. This is a band that kind of caught me off guard. I didn't. I I honestly didn't expect it to be this good. No, I know he's going into this. You know, he was like, you know, I, I, I'll be <laughs> honest. Not, with not, you, not, I, ne not necessarily disgusted, but he was kind of like, I was like, like oh, wait. oh. Dude, and then once Muse, I, it's like I don't really know them. Yeah, and then once I listen to it, like that, that happens occasionally, like on here, but like yeah. about twenty minutes into listening to this, I was like, man, this is fucking cool. Look, we even have a a drill sergeant up our ass for this review. <laughs> the drill, if you the buy drill the deluxe sergeant. edition, if you get the deluxe edition of this album, it comes with a free soap membership for a year. <laughs> um, I think the drill sergeant's going into psycho is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have my roommate dress up like a drill sergeant with these really short ass shorts and some weird hat, but it didn't pan out. Sorry guys. It would have really think, I don't think they would have liked that. Yeah, well, <laughs> but this is absolutely one of my favorite albums of the year. Muse Drones. Check this shit out. Now watch my head explode. Ah!